This picture shows a side view of the knee joint. Uh, in a cat or dog, the knee is kind of up by the abdomen. Um, it's farther up than it is in us. We have our whole thigh, the whole upper leg exposed, but in dogs and cats, that's kind of tucked against the body. If there are abnormalities anywhere along the line here, um, you are going to have arthritis in the joints that are affected. So very common in the small bow-legged dogs for the little kneecap here to not be um, sliding up and down the way it should, it'll slip off to the side. Uh, this little dog is um, a bow-legged. You can see the, the tibia bones kind of curving a little bit. So this is going to be a dog whose back legs look like a dachshund or a, or a basset hound, kind of short uh, bowed. Um, the kneecaps are centered. So a lot of these little dogs with bow legs have kneecaps that'll pop out of place. Um, this little dog actually has normal kneecaps despite the fact that it's kind of bow legged. The joint and bone in general responds to inflammation by making new bone. And so you've, you've all seen people's hands that have a lot of arthritis, they get these gnarled, lumpy hands and the knuckles are really big and that's the bone making more bone because it's inflamed. The patellar kneecap is right here and it fits in this groove on the edge of the, the bottom of the femur. So it's supposed to slide up and down in that groove. This little dog was, is not so lucky. Uh, we have one kneecap sitting off to the side here. We have another one way off to the inside of the leg on this side. So. Mutsy had surgery done to rebuild her knees um, so that that kneecap would go back where it's supposed to be. Uh, when it's off to the side here, it tends to pop on and off and on and off and on and off and that grinds the cartilage away from the edge of the femur and from the underneath side of the, the kneecap. So what the surgeon does is make the groove that that patella slides up and down in deeper so it will stay there um, and then they rehook the the ligaments and tighten those up so that hopefully the kneecap then slides up and down where it's supposed to and it's not always stuck on the inside of the leg.